So a lot of times, like when I was learning my keys, um, you know, everything was always like going up my half step. So like, you know, I came up when uh, Judith Christie McAllister was real popular. And so we was playing Oh Give Thanks, you know what I mean? Or a Kurt Carr with um, We Lift Our Hands in the Sanctuary, right? So everything was going up by half step. And as in, in like just coming up at that time, it was always super intimidating to keep going up half steps because it's like, oh, shoot. Like, you know what I mean? Um, there would be something, it would be something to where like every time you go up half step, it's like totally different, right? And so when I was learning my keys, I would practice like that. Like I would do like half steps and everything like that. And, you know, it was like, so when I went to, from C, I'd play it in, uh, you know, play in C. And then I'd take it up to C sharp, right? Play it in C sharp, take it up to D, play it in D, and so on and so forth. Every half step, it was like, okay, it feels like you're playing something totally different. So one of my music teachers told me uh, one time, you know, that when you're learning your keys, it's always better to learn in circle of fifths. Now, why circle of fifths? Well, it was because every time you go by circle of fifths, you're just adding a sharp or adding a flat or taking away a sharp or taking away a flat. You know what I mean? Like depending on which way you go. So if I'm so I like going, you know, so I like going from C to F rather than C to G. You know what I mean? Um, so if I'm learning a song and it's in C, like a in praise and worship song or or something like that or something of that, you know, um, of that of that type that modulates a lot. You know what I mean? Um I always, one thing that I always do, like when I'm just learning it, not necessarily going up by half step, like in, you know, in sequence, but just like, just breaking it down. One thing I like to do when I'm playing around with it, with, with a, like with a simple song is go by circle of fifth. So if I start like a song in C, so let's just say, um, uh, for instance, we'll go with, we'll, we'll, we'll go with, um, how great is our God, right? So. If you play uh, How Great Is Our God, you're just playing around with it. You know what I mean? Like, you're not trying to put the song in context. You're just breaking it down. Learning it in C, right? Try Maybe try taking it to F. Or, you know, because C is the uh, C is the fifth of F. Or try maybe taking it to G because um because g is the fifth of c and so when you do that so let's 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 um let's take it to g so when you learn how great is our god is c take it to g right the only difference is there's one sharp which is f sharp but everything else feels the same it feels similar see what i'm saying like it feels like you're playing something similar uh under your fingers and then so then you take that song that that uh that same thing that's in g right so g now you go you go down to D, right? D has two sharps, which is F sharp and C sharp. Now, it, it it's it's similar. It feels a little different, but it's still similar. Okay, it feels similar under your fingers. You know what I mean? Like um, and so and and so when you do it like that, it's much easier. And by and by like before you know it, um, by the time like you've gone through all your keys, like you, it's like you, you know, it was a it was a short time or it didn't feel like it was short. So. Learning your learning your keys in, by circle of fifths rather than half step you like to start off is a really good way to be able to memorize your keys and to be able to feel like you're actually comfortable playing your keys because, like I said, it's like, you know, um, G is going to feel like C. You know what I mean? Um, uh, you know, D is going to feel like G. OK. And so on and so forth. They're, they're going to feel similar so that when you go all the way around, something is going to feel similar to something when you're playing under your fingers. You know what I mean? The chord shapes are, aren't going to drastically change when you go by a circle of fifth because I always think of it in chord shapes. None of that is going to really change that much. It's going to very gradually change. But learning it by circle of fifths is the best way to go when you're just learning your keys, like when you're trying to break stuff down in your practice time. So, like I said, you know, rather than trying to learn by half step, Try circle of fifths and, and see where you get.